Okay, so in this problem we need to find out which of the following are subspaces of M N N, which is the set of all uh, N plus M real matrices. So the first set that we need to check is the set of all diagonal N plus N matrices. So I say that it is actually a subspace and how do we check that? So suppose A and B are two diagonal N cross N matrices. So A plus B would also be diagonal. This is easy to check because A would be something of this sort and uh, only uh, the non -diag uh, the diagonal and non diagonal entries are zero and b would be something of this sort so a plus b would be something of this sort Basically, the diagonal entries get added and the non-diagonal entries in the sum a plus b also remains 0. So a plus b is also diagonal. And for any scalar alpha belonging to the set of real numbers, alpha times k is the matrix alpha a1, alpha a2 on the diagonal and alpha an on the last diagonal entry and the remaining ones zero so this is again a diagonal matrix so alpha a also belongs to the set so this is closed under sums and also scalar multiples so this is a vector subspace let's see the second one we need to find out if the set of all n cross n matrices A with determinant 0 form a subspace or not. So let's call this uh, subspace, uh, subset W2 for now. So this does not form uh, a vector subspace and why so because suppose we have n equals 2 and we have a equals say 1 2 0 0 and b equals 0 0 2 1 so determinant of a is 0 and so is determinant of b but when we see determinant when we see the matrix a plus B that is 1 2 2 1 ah, turns out that in this case it is 0 so let's take another sample let's take it to be something else so maybe 1 1 so the sum would now be 1 2 1 1 and the determinant of A plus B would be 1 minus 2 which is negative 1 which is not 0 so A plus B does not belong to W2 even though A and B were elements of W2. So this is not a subspace. Let's consider the third set which is the set of all N cross N matrices such that trace is 0. Let's call this W3. So this is in fact a subspace because if we have two matrices A and B belonging to W3, this implies that trace of A is 0 and trace of B is 0. The trace of A plus B is nothing but trace of A plus trace of B because the diagonal entries of the sum of two matrices is the sum of the diagonal entries of the two matrices so the trace 
would be edited so this would be zero and uh, if we have a scalar alpha then the trace of alpha a would be nothing but alpha times trace of a which is again zero so alpha a belongs to w3 and a plus b belongs to w3 so this is a subspace let's check for the fourth one let's call this w4 this is the set of all symmetric and cross n matrices that means a belongs to n n n such that a equals a transpose again this is a vector subspace because if a and b belong to w4 this implies a equals a transpose and b equals b transpose but we know that the transpose function is additive that is the transpose of a plus b is nothing but the transpose of a plus transpose of b and a transpose is a b transpose is b so this gives us a plus b so this implies a plus b belongs to w4 similarly for uh, any scalar alpha alpha times a transpose is nothing but alpha times a transpose this is alpha times a this means that alpha a belongs to w4 and that means that the w4 is closed under summation i mean uh, addition as well as scalar multiplication so this is also a vector subspace now let's check for the fifth one let's call this set w5 and we uh, need all those matrices which are skew symmetric or anti-symmetric or in other words a, a, a transpose is the negative of a this is also a vector subspace okay i uh, just have to uh, make a note that we first always need to check that the subspace w the so-called subspace i mean the set for which we need to check if it's a subspace or not this is not empty in most cases you don't need to worry about this at least in all of the um, problems in this one these are clearly non-empty so let's go ahead with uh, verifying if this is a subspace or not so if a and b belong to w5 this implies that a transpose is negative of a and b transpose is negative of b but then a plus b transpose is a transpose plus b transpose which is negative of a plus negative of b which is the negative of a plus b so a plus b is anti-symmetric or skew symmetric that is it belongs to w5 so this is closed with respect to addition and now suppose we have a scalar alpha then alpha times a transpose is nothing but alpha times a transpose which is alpha times negative of a or negative of alpha a so this implies that alpha a also belongs to w5 so w5 is a subspace of n n n going ahead with the sixth one let's call this w6 this is the set of all n plus n matrices such that a x equals zero where x is the vector variable vector has only trivial solution so we observe that this equation has only trivial solution if and on 
only if a is invertible or in other words determinant of a is non-zero so we will see that this is not a vector subspace because uh, the zero element zero element of MNN which is the zero matrix this has determinant zero and this is not invertible and uh, this does not belong to W6 so W6 is not a subspace Now going ahead with the seventh one, let's call this W7. This is the set of all n cross n matrices such that AB equals BA for some fixed n, uh, and I mean for some fixed B belonging to M, N, N. So clearly 0 belongs to W7 as 0 times b is b multiplied with 0 which is 0 so let's suppose that a and c belong to w7 this would mean that a b equals b a and c b equals b c so we need to check if a plus c commute with b or not so a plus c times b multiply with b is a b plus c b which is b a plus b c which is b multiplied with a plus c so this implies a plus c belongs to w7 and similarly for any scalar alpha alpha times a multiplied with b is alpha times a multiplied with b which is alpha times b a as a belongs to w7 and this is nothing but b times alpha a so this implies alpha a belongs to w7 so w7 is a vector subspace of m n n